Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2013 Toyota Highlander. Now the most notable features on this Highlander is its power moonroof, its power liftgate, along with its heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2013 Toyota Highlander. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Highlander is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. And taking a look down below on your front grill here, you're gonna see your block heater. And then over on the side, you have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your heated mirrors as well as your foldable mirrors, your roof rack, and the color we're gonna be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side. You have your mirror controls with your window wiper, de-ice retraction control on and off and then you also have your power lift gate release with a little bit of storage space for, uh, for some coins, sorry, just located down below. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function, mode select, Bluetooth, temperature control, display, voice recognition, and cruise control. Now I'm just going to close in on the exact kilometers just so you can see what it's currently sitting at. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel, well, AM, FM, player, I should say. At the very top here, you're going to see your display settings. I should say some display settings. You can actually press the display button here. And you can see you can actually cycle through a couple of different options on here, including your st fuel economy statistics. You also have your temperature control settings located on here, and then you have your digital clock and your exterior temperature gauge. Now taking a look here, you have your AM FM CD player, and then if we go through the radio here, you also have your XM satellite radio as well. Hazard lights, and located down below you do have your dual zone climate control settings for your driver and passenger with your rear temperature controls just located down below. Underneath that you'll find your USB auxiliary over on your left hand side here. You'll also have your downhill assist control, snow mode, and your power outlet. And at the very top here, you'll see your auto dimming rear view mirror with your digital compass. And a couple of the controls you'll see at the top here include your open and close and your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your integrated garage door opener controls, sun glass case holder, and you'll also have an additional mirror on the inside there just so you can keep an eye on the kids. And then your backup camera will actually just show up on this screen just up at the top here. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate and how located on the back of your tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Highlander emblem. And now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now with your third row, it's a 50-50 split, so depending on what your needs are for, you can have one of them down or both of them down. You also have those... Uh, 40 20 40 split uh, second row seats there so in the event that you do need the additional space you can have those seats folded down as well to actually fold up your third row all you have to do is just pull on the strap on the back of the seat here headrests are just located right behind it and then to fold them back down all you have to do is just pull on this piece here it will fold the headrest down and if you pull on this piece here again push it forward it'll fold the seat back to the floor. now underneath the floor here you will find cover stored underneath here, as well as a little bit of storage space where you can highly store your valuables. Now the other thing I like with this Highlander is it does have that power lift gate, so a lot of times it's hard to actually close up the tailgate just with your hands full of groceries or bags. All, but all you have to do now is just push on the button once and it will close automatically for you. Now the other nice thing with this um, tailgate as well as that you can actually open up the rear hatch glass just as long as you have the key fob on you just push on the button on the back here and then it will pop open for you just so you can throw a couple of things back there really quickly thank you so much folks for watching this video today if you have any questions on this 2013 toyota highlander please visit us we're located at 31 automall road in sherwood park alberta canada 
The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.